Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into some more of SF9 on the Kingdom competition. Um, I just reacted to them performing um, The Stealer last night, actually. You guys are probably looking at me like, Topher, you're wearing the exact same outfit. I'm like, I know. So I did. I had a little mini recording session last night, and then I edited and uploaded that so I had something to release this morning. And then I woke up this morning just rolled out of bed, didn't feel like doing my hair, which is why I got my hat on, and that's why I'm wearing the same thing. I just, I wore this to bed and then rolled up out of bed this morning. I'm like, okay, let's do some recording. But I looked at the comments section and so many of you guys are like, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe you're finally reacting to them. Can't believe you're finally reacting to them. If you're reacting to them on Kingdom, you need to see Move. You have to see them covering Tay Min's Move. You have to see them covering Tay Min's Move. I'm like, y'all. I remember when I reacted to the music video of Tay Min's Move. That song is sexy as hell. That song is all manner of sexy. And it's not even a matter of, and the, the music video is too, I'm just talking about the song itself. The song itself is just sexy. But then when you bring the music video into it too, like the, just the choreography and just the body movements, the subtle attention to detail. It wasn't even the fact that he was naked or anything like that. It, it wasn't, it was just, the essence of everything in that music video was just sex personified. I'm like, oh my God. So then, since y'all were like, hey, you gotta watch these seven fine ass, giant ass, because y'all told me that th th these are some tall drinks of water. These seven fine ass, giant ass, delicious men's is performing a song that is just sex personified on this grand stage where they give you all the production value. I'm like, enough said, enough said. So I had other things I had planned to react to today. I wasn't planning on diving back into SF9 this, this soon, but you know, plans change. So we're gonna dive in and just see what happens. Come on, Smoke, you better billow out from behind the staircase. Mm-hmm. Come on, Red Light. You, you better, you better. <laughs> the performance just started. You better come through with these slow, subtle hips. You better give me the essence of this song, sir. I want to. Come on. Ah, thrust it. Ah. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bitches ain't even started singing yet. <laughs> I already see the chesticles, Lord. I'm not gonna make it through this damn performance. I don't know why I agreed to this. Why, 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 why y'all doing this to me? Oh, uh, the little I, I, buckling because I'm gonna pause this like 700 times throughout this performance. I already feel it. The little eyebrow lift there just at the end of his phrase. He did. He's a da, 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 da. lip brush, eyebrow. I'm like, oh, I'm melted. Hmm. Lip. Ah. I like his voice on this song. I mean, I like all their voices so far on the song, but like, there's just this, there's this, I'm gonna pause it because I'm gonna talk and I don't want to miss something. There's just the, this intimacy about the breathiness that he's using right now. The other guys also had a very like soft, alluring quality, but there's just something about the breathiness in his tone right now. That's just like, it's like he's just 
caressing the song. He's just. <sighs> no, no, no! There's five of them. Well, take it back. Y'all can't just throw five of them in my face like this. Oh, midriff, Lord. <laughs> oh, you better. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Not, not, not the. <laughs> mm hmm. This one, this one right here, this one, is, I, I'm gonna I'm take it back to you, baby. This one right here in the middle is feeling himself. He is feeling him. I mean, they're all technically feeling themselves, but he is feeling his oats. Oh my God. He is living right now. He is, he's like, I am front row center, camera on me, and every mo movement has a fluid motion to it. It has an intent behind it, and he is, oh, I'm living. He is having eye sex with this camera so hard right now. Okay, I, I got I got all of those. I don't need to stop whispering at me like this. Oh, hello. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. They need to be st oh. <laughs> They need to be stopped. Mm, I would like to see a male version of the- oh, The bass! Yeah, stop! Stop it! Okay. Ah! Woo! Come on, dance break! Come on, baby, sing to me. Mm-hmm. Sing, baby! You better sashay on this runway, sir! Oh, I'll, I will have this on repeat, don't you worry. Yeah, it's the same canon. Oh, oh come on, rain both smoke in the back and... Ah! Oh! Oh, Lord Jesus, I thought we were done. <sighs> Help me, Jesus. <sighs> No, no one told you to button this fucking shirt. No one told you to button this shirt, sir. Oh, okay. We're going to button two. Tie style. We're only going to button the two bottom but most buttons. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Make them wet. Soaking wet and delicious. Ugh. Yes, let's, let, let's just linger in the scene. It's fine with me. Jesus. Y'all. 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 It was such a perfect cover of this song. They did this song so much justice, because like I said at the top, the song is sexy. 
without any visuals whatsoever, the song itself is just sexy. Taemin did his thing with this song. The musical arrangement of it, the seductive nature of the vocals, everything about it just says, I'm seducing you. I'm luring you into my world. Come into my world. Stay for a little while. while like, like fucking Dracula or something. Like, hey, I'm hypnotizing you. Come into my world so I can suck on your neck. Like, everything is just alluring about the song and then you bring in the visuals and it's just uh so what i love similar things to what i said when i first reacted to tay min's music video of it that it's not necessarily that the choreography the movements they're doing is overtly sexy it's it's a combination of those slow quiet moments where like yeah you could very easily just do a hand movement like this and call it a day but like we're ta we're taking up every single second in between like we're not just moving our hand from here to here we are living every single second on the way down we are milking every single movement every movement has a fluid motion every movement movement has an intent it has a purpose and we are living in the in-betweens we're not just living for the hard-hitting bam bam we're living for everything in between the extensions the stretches the reaches everything we are living for it and i am living for it and it's a combination of that and just the control the slow control over everything where it's like yes we very easily could be doing all this fast-paced choreography and then they did they had a nice old dance break that they incorporated where they did have some more of the faster heavy hitting choreography but it's like we could be doing that throughout the entire song but instead we're going to just show you slow and controlled slow and controlled and it's just sexy sexy and then every once in a while they would throw in some hips or some body roll or some grind or whatever and it's like okay jesus why are you trying to assassinate me right now right right now like y'all calm down i just got up um but yeah so the choreography itself wasn't innately sexy it's just how they interpret that movement how they live in that movement that just gives off that sex appeal gives off very reminiscent of Taemin where he could he could be wearing a paper sack he could be wearing a paper sack covered from head to toe but he will still move in such a way he will give you all of the ooh la la feels he will move in such a way that just it makes you feel like he believes he is wearing the sexiest article of clothing. Whatever sexy is to you, whether that's being dressed up in leather or lace or a nice suit or wearing nothing at all, whatever it is. Like, he could be wearing absolutely the most hideous, non-body-hugging thing in the world, but he will move in such a way that just makes you feel like he believes he is in the sexiest thing he could ever wear and he is feeling every single bit of himself so here they had that essence they had that i keep doing this because that, that i guess that's my descriptor hands for sexy mm, just, i just want to grab on everything oh how you doing but like they had that essence where it's like they were just yeah they were doing all this great movement and whatnot but you could just tell that it was more than just them going through the motions and just them doing the choreography they were they were living in it and they were especially that one that i had to pause there in the middle how he was i, I put him i had to freeze because i'm like he right here is giving me essence of tame and they were all giving me tame in in different ways but he was giving me essence of performance tame in tame in on the dance floor was that that little one in the middle there with with all the midriff showing he was again that's something i could see tame in wearing for all midriff out for days um but just uh God, so damn good. And then you had the one in the beginning who just had his, all his chesticles out and just, Christ Jesus. Um, and then at, at, towards the end there, before they started, you know, rude, rude. Um, before they started just standing there getting wet, which, girl, same. How you doing? Um, like they had that final little pose on stage and I sat there counting. There were only like five, maybe six, but I think there were only five of them. And I was sitting here like, why did I think there were seven? 
what I think I'm like okay because the performance feels done now I'm like okay we're done there's only five of them here in this final pose I'm like okay and then all of a sudden Mr. Chesticles just walks out I'm like oh lord Jesus he's back that's not the one so yes and then we get to the final room all seven were there I'm like okay yes yes there were seven I wasn't going crazy but lord yes visuals were on point visuals were on point choreography chef's kiss and the vocals were fantastic too um like i said there a lot of them were capturing that sort of essence of Min's version in this where it's like the vocals in the earlier part not necessarily about big belty moments or anything like that it's it's soft it's seductive and like i said he's like just caressing the song like the music's playing and his voice is just it's just Mm, mm, it's just, mm, mm. like it's just just sensual and alluring and just, mm, it's just and then as we got later into the song after we had I think the dance break and we had um the other one there who was giving you a little bit more he's he's like okay now it's my time I'm gonna give you some belty stuff and he's like okay I'm go ahead slay baby slay um so we got a nice f range of vocals from from the group of them great choreography great vision mm, mm, delicious magically delicious i thoroughly enjoyed this i was gonna see it at any point anyway because like i planned to go through the kingdom competition one band at a time i just wasn't planning on diving into the sf9 this soon but man am i glad that i did because how y'all doing how y'all doing <laughs> um but yes i thoroughly enjoyed this so thank you guys for the recommendation um i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted if there's anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can if you'd like to support the channel in other ways you're more than welcome to join us over on patreon you don't have to but you're more than welcome to if you want to and i'll see you guys in my next video love ya And before you guys go, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone supporting me over on Patreon. This channel would not be what it is today without your continued support, and I can't begin to thank you guys enough for all you've done for me. If you'd like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya!